Hello and welcome. My name is Brian O'Brien. I am the Experience Marketing Manager here at Cliff Family Winery and you are joining us for another virtual wine club happy hour. Thank you all for joining us. This video is intended to try our March Chima shipment of the two red wines that we're about to talk about and I am joined by none other than our amazing winemaker Laura Barrett. Laura, thank you for joining me once again. Thank you for hosting. So we're going to go into these two wines and, and we're going to drink through some new wines that you, we haven't uh, ever really released before and some a wine that we also make every year and this is just the newest vintage release. So let's go ahead and get kicked off and get started. What we're going to start here with is the 2021 La Coligne Estate Zinfandel here. Now this comes from our estate property up on Howell Mountain. Laura, tell us a little bit about this wine. Sure. Well, just a little recap on the name. Le Colline is the Italian word for the hills. Um, so this site is located just outside of the home of Kit and Gary on the Pope Valley side of Howell Mountain. So that's the north side of the mountain. Um, and it's technically below the AVA line. So although it's on Howell Mountain, it's not in the Howell Mountain AVA. So this wine is actually na appellated Napa Valley. Um, and there are two very, very small vineyard sites. One is 0.8 acres and one is 0.4 acres uh, just across the street from each other. So uh, that's where the name comes from, the hills. And uh, this is a great site for growing Zinfandel. Um, we get warmer evenings. Um, so when the nighttime temperatures are warm, we just get a little bit more ripening going on throughout the growing season. Um, it's definitely an early harvest for me. I usually pick it um, Sometimes I think of the earliest I've ever harvested it is August 30th. What's the what's um, the reason for that? The sugar level just hits what, where you're looking for earlier than some of the other grapes around the area. Yeah, um, it's definitely a block that I don't like to push with respect to sugar. I like to get it on the less ripe side of the Zinfandel ripening scale. Sure. And the reason being is that it's not a very high acid site. So in order to keep the freshness and acidity in this wine, I have to get it off the vine a little bit earlier. So you kind of, you know, you're always looking for that balance. It's not always about sugar. Um, it's most often about the balance of flavor, sugar, and acidity. Um, so for that reason, it comes off a little bit earlier. Um, there's also can be some water stress. So when you have you know, the heat of the summer, um, uh, especially in some of these drought years, uh, you know, we, it causes the grapes to kind of ripen a little bit faster. So we're seeing these harvests a little bit earlier and earlier as the years progress. Um, this is the 2021 vintage, which was an excellent vintage. Um, we were all very, very pleased with the 21s. Um, and this is one of the first of these lighter reds that gets to bottle every year so this is kind of the first view or one of the first views of the 21 vintage at Cliff Family. Yeah this uh, you know the traditionals I'd say Zin is, is kind of known as being a very jammy kind of type of fruit and this one is definitely not that whatsoever this is a really light red I think it's absolutely beautiful a lot of red fruit flavors on it and I hadn't actually heard you talk about the area in which these grapes grow kind of having a little bit of a, a lack of acidity and and so that just really made me think about so it's really cool to, to, to hear that um, really really light red wine I love this. this is one of my favorite wines to pair with food I think how light it is really tends to uh, take to it pairing really well with just such a wide variety of different things. So 2021 La Coligne Estate Zinfandel, Laura, spectacular wine. Thank you, cheers. All right, so let's get into the second wine. Now the second wine that we're gonna talk about today is uh, a new wine in our uh, inventory. This is us really bringing out, so we're known for our Cabernet Sauvignon, right? That's what we really uh, are, hang our hat on. Specifically, Howell Mountain Cabernet is what we've really been known for. This is our first attempt at bringing our Cabernet program a little bit to the bottom of the valley. Laura, tell us a little bit about this wine. Yeah, so in 2018, we purchased a new vineyard, which we named Valley de Soto, which means the valley below. Um, and that is an 80 acre parcel um, on the valley floor in the Oak Knoll district. So we planted 10 different grape varietals um, and our first vintage uh, from that vineyard is 2021. 
Um, this was um, kind of a, an opportunity for me to play around with some valley floor fruit and begin our sort of migration into the Oak Knoll district um, as a producer. And so we purchased these grapes uh, from a grower um, very, very close to our new vineyard. Um, this is the 2019 vintage. Um, and this really gave me the opportunity to get to know the AVA, um, how is the climate different from what we're used to up on Howell Mountain? What are the soil profiles? How do the grapes behave? When do they ripen? How do I want to manage tannin during the fermentation? Um, so I was really, really pleased uh, with how this came out. Um, definitely a lot more fruit forward than what we're used to seeing up on the mountain. Um, the valley floor brings out that kind of freshness and the ripeness um, of the grape itself. And uh, I think tannin management is, um, it's a lot easier to, to tackle um, during that time. Um, I, I know I it's it's unlikely for me to really go be able to go over the top I can really extract um, and not over extract sure Whereas on the mountain you have to be a little careful about right. over extraction so this was a lot of fun to make I mean, it is a hundred percent Cabernet uh, and I think it will be a nice snapshot into where we're headed with our wines from Valle de Soto uh, and uh, kind of just a nice introduction into that portfolio. It's a phenomenal wine and it's really exciting that you know we've always loved our Howell Mountain properties I've always that's what really hooked me into being a, a club member with Cliff Family. I was a Chima member before I ever worked here uh, and it's exciting that we now have the opportunity of bringing our Cabernet program down Valley. Express both, you know, we're not limited to one or the other. We can, we have so much more versatility now. And this one, I feel like it has room in our portfolio, right? It isn't that the huge tannic wines, you know, that, that generally come from Howell Mountain being the bottom of the valley. And it has a little bit more fruit driven uh, flavor in my opinion. So I do think that we had a little bit, this fills a little bit of a hole that we had. And it's really exciting that we have the opportunity to have not only our Howell Mountain fruits, but also the bottom of the valley. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to see how these wines age as well, where, um, and also to manage our expectations. I think for me, um, I expected these grapes to be harvested before Howell Mountain, just as far as timing goes. And this is just an example. But um, what I'm finding is um, in the Oak Knoll district, we actually have a much longer growing season. So we might bud break a little earlier than on the mountain, but these blocks are one of the very last things that I'm harvesting every single year, even later than Howell Mountain. Why is that? Um, you know, I think it's the depth of soil. Um, we create a completely different, uh, different grapevine uh, mm. in, on the valley floor where we have much deeper soils. There's more nutrients and there's more water hold holding capacity, a little more clay in the soil, whereas on the mountain you're very stressed. Um, so we, the vines tend to produce a little more fruit. Um, that takes longer to ripen. Um, and I think that the marine influence is a pretty powerful thing in the Oak Knoll district. Um, although we're valley floor and we're, we think we're a little warmer because we're lower elevation, um, but the uh, sometimes in the summertime the fog doesn't burn off until a little later in the day, whereas we have that above the fog um, tagline that we talk about from the Howell Mountain region where we're above the fog so we get the cooling effect uh, from the air temperature but we're still sitting under sunshine. Um, so the other thing that's different about these wines is the acidity. Uh, I'm finding that Oak Knoll has a beautiful beautiful freshness to the finished wines. A lot of really really nice fresh acidity. Um, it makes them kind of brighter in color um, and so it'll be really fun to see how these wines age and um, we would expect Howell Mountain wines because of their tannin level to need more time in the cellar um, and this wine to be a little more approachable at a younger age um, so we'll see looking Excellent. forward to it that's amazing yeah I, I will be drinking this wine for the next couple decades so I I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it evolves uh, in the bottle and in the glass uh, Laura thank you again uh, for this amazing uh, virtual wine tasting again we just tasted through the March Chima shipment so if you are a Chima member come grab yours today if you're not go ahead and sign up there's a ton of perks thanks again Laura and cheers everyone cheers